We're here to show you this, how to make this beautiful leaf tray. You can make a small one for jewelry or even larger ones to display some fall time snacks. Hi, my name is Julia and I'm with Highlands Realty Inc. Here to give you a little bit of a fall inspiration craft. It would be great for families to do together while we're spending a lot of time at home. We're going to be making leaf plates. We've got some already kind of cured up for us to paint later, but we're gonna start by rolling out the clay. You're gonna to wanna to use some air dry clay. It's gonna be pretty easy. Um, even a beginner can use it. And this air dry clay and all our supplies today were only about $44 and you can make probably about 10 plates. I'm making a little bit larger of a leaf today, but if you saw that beautiful jewelry plate in the beginning, that cute little leaf, almost like a bowl on the ends, that's gonna probably get you closer to 10 of those. Once you get enough clay, just kind of eyeball how much you'll need based upon the size of your leaf. This clay will probably cover this leaf. It's a little bit larger, like I said, than the jewelry one we depicted in the beginning of the video. So we're gonna wanna roll this out. I'm gonna work it a little bit before I roll it, just to make the rolling a little bit easier. Kind of like when your mamma makes biscuits. So before you roll out your clay, you're gonna to wanna to put down some parchment paper. Not only is it great for baking, but it's great for helping this clay not stick to your tablecloth or your table. All right, so we've worked out our clay a little bit, and now we're going to roll it out to size. You want to apply even pressure so that your plate is nice and uniform. And you can put some fall potpourri in there. You can put some candies on your coffee table, whatever you like. Just a great display for your home for this time of year. I'm just going to try to test the thickness with my fingers here. It seems pretty even throughout. Let me check my size here. I've got a little bit more rolling to do just to smidge that direction. For my purposes, I'm pretty happy with that. So you want to do it <laughs> with the back of the leaf facing down. The stronger veining is going to help make that leaf really show. Just even pressure as you roll. Now that I know I've got the design that I want with this leaf, we're ready to cut. So taking a little crafting knife, we're going to gently trim around the leaf edges. If you would like, you can trim the intricate designs of the leaves, but I am not that patient. If you're supervising little ones, this may be something that you want to do yourself. Once you get those edges trimmed, you can just pull them away. But if you do have little ones working with you and you've got a group where you don't feel comfortable cutting all of these, then you can probably use those little pumpkin carving knives. Big reveal. A little bit of a leaf hanging on here. Gently. There's our start. Now that you've got your leaf freed, we're going to shape the edges gently by pinching them up. That way, anything we put in our little plate will stay put. So in order to get your leaf to look a bit more like this, you're gonna wanna set it down inside of a bowl. That way it can naturally get the curvature of the bowl and you don't even actually have to pinch the edges. You can just rest it in even leave some of the parchment paper on to make it easier to lift out later. Once your leaf has been shaped, you're gonna to wanna to let it dry. 24 hours with the top up, that way those ridges can harden so that when you flip it over for the second 24 hours for the bottom part, it will be able to hold its shape. Now, we're gonna show you how to paint your leaf. We've got some acrylic paint here and it's metallic so it'll shine for us. I've got one already dried for us so that we can show you how it's done. 
pretty simple. You're just going to choose the colors that you like best. As you saw in our demonstration one with the little jewelry in there, that one we chose to go with pastels, which are really in this year. But if you want that classic fall design, we've got some red and gold. I'm going to start out with the red. Just want to work in the paint into those seams, but make sure you don't leave too much because you still want to see some of that beautiful threading design. So what I'm going to try to do and see if this works, a little experiment, is start out by putting the red in the center, a couple of coats to let it get that true red, and then putting gold around the edges. We're going to take some gold and start up at the top edge so we get the truest gold color and then blend down into the red. That way we can kind of create that natural fading that a leaf does as it changes throughout the fall. I wish that the color stayed different longer. I mean, it's just it's such a short time, but while it's here, it's absolutely beautiful. If you've never seen the Bristol colors in the fall, you have to come check them out. So there we are, all painted and ready to gloss. We hope that you can incorporate these beautiful fall colors into your designs, but we're gonna gloss our pastel so you can see how it's done. So now we're going to gloss our beautiful little pastel tray. This one was our little jewelry tray that you saw in the beginning of our video. And we chose to use pastels because you could use this for your fall decor or just like every day. Uh, pastels are really in right now. So let's go ahead and gloss this. We've got some Mod Podge gloss, and we're just going to take a little foam brush and make sure it's nice and coated. That'll give it a beautiful shine and protect your finish. You'll want thin coats, and just five should do the trick. Between each coat, you'll want to allow 20 to 30 minutes for that coat to dry. During that time, you can enjoy putting out your fall decorations, and we hope you enjoy our video and share your creations with us. Tag Highlands Realty Inc. so we can see your beautiful designs.